Hello friends and fiends, welcome back to Blood and Guts HHN, where we break down the blood and guts of Halloween Horror Nights. And with me as always, we've got Mad Matt. How's it going, Matt? Evil Adam, I'm doing fantastic. You know why? Why is that? We finally got back from the event, we smell the fog, just taste the blood, and now we get to do one of our favorite parts when we come back is dissect the event. Dissect the event. And you know I'm a little sad. Yeah. I'm a little sad. As soon as we leave, I get sad. Because <laughs> I thought just today, I was sitting at work and I thought... I caught a whiff of the fog, but it was in my memory, of course. <laughs> right. But it was a pleasant <laughs> five yeah. seconds. And then, I mean, it does get sad, but you know what happens after that? The countdown for HHN 33 yeah, that's begins. That's right. Don't remind me of the days. <laughs> <laughs> and tonight, guys, we're going to talk about the scare zones for you. Now, we had some good scare zones this year. I will say that. Mm -hmm. um, coming from my personal, you know, thoughts, I feel like last year's scare zones were a little better i'm just going to be honest i mean they were a little more immersive they were a little more heavy on the sets which i love um i'm not saying these scare zones uh were bad in any way shape or form but i'm just thinking you know last year's were mm -hmm. a little better for me hey that that's absolutely fair for me i kind of feel like they're on point i don't really think either one's better or worse on that but um uh for some like one we'll get to it in one scare zone some of them actually do better than years past for me that i'd say as far oh, as like yeah. i always complain about being too short and not uh spooky enough but like i said we'll get into the meat and potatoes of that here shortly but um to go ahead and begin this episode why don't we just go ahead and hit him with the doctor's odd fellows collection of horrors yeah. now when you walk into the park you know get your butt blood pumping you see them scare actors you walk under the the banner halloween horror nights and it just That's sets right. the mood and uh the theme of this one says it's got Dr. Alfella will lure you into Halloween Horror Nights with a promise of immortality. Yeah. You'll soon realize you may not survive the night. And we caught a few appearances of Oddfellow, but we did not, unfortunately, catch him on his wagon. Right. The whole time we were trying to catch that, and it just didn't work out timing-wise for us guys. We tried to catch him on the wagon, and but we did see him walking around and tried to interact with him a little bit. And mm -hmm. You know, they had some stilt walkers. They had some vamps out there few other odds and ends creatures you know other than that it was just it was a very small zone i feel like you know they didn't have much space anyway yeah and then the other downside to it is you know it's right there near that today cafe so it's pretty well lit yeah you know couldn't really get dark yeah i mean uh, for that you you hit the nail on the head with it being short and like uh, i mean the rumor is that uh, they don't want to do anything in the new minion land uh, which which is ridiculous it to me. is because i mean i guess during the day they don't want like you know little little tommy and little Susie to see anything they shouldn't see but they can put obviously the, cover put it the up. sheet over it like you do with everything else exactly you know uh but as far as like an icon goes or an official icon for dr Offella. yes i really think they knocked it out of the park this year oh with that yeah one. i love him as an icon i think he's a great addition to mm -hmm. the already awesome team of icons that we have and you know once speaking on that you know i had heard a rumor and this is just a rumor may be true may not be that you know due to some partnership with uh, netflix i believe it was they weren't allowed to officially have an official icon so they kind of had to like have an icon without having an icon so to speak but i'm at least glad that they did one thing and that they gave him a microphone yes and have him interact with everybody like i said we we yep. made multiple attempts there but he finally did you know at least told us good evening and like uh yeah but he done a great job with the guests i've seen many videos with him going through and every and every person they have playing odd fella has done a fantastic job from oh yeah and he did some good interactions when i was filming him he would uh you know, walk with his his glowing cane of souls, and he would yes. he would kind of point to some of the 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 characters and kind of point like get them, you know, kind of thing, and they would attack, you know, which was really cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, as far as scare zones go, I would say that it's it's better than the Pumpkin Lord 
uh, from last year who, you know, did not have a microphone. And Yeah, I know, agree with that. Just had the same four lines and burps and farts over and over <laughs> again. Yeah. So. so out of uh, five, uh, one to five bones, what would you rank this particular scare zone? I'm going to go ahead and give it a three, three and a half, just because of the fact that he did have a microphone mm-hmm. and that he could interact. And, 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 you know, it's your basic HHN entrance with the, the big rigging and all that stuff so I'll, I'll, I'm right about right in line with you I give it a three like yeah. I said the pros too I, I think it's great great way to get in get your blood pumping like I said interacting with the guests those are all the positives of it right you kind of hit the nail on the head where it felt a little too short that's definitely short and yeah. a lot of the scare zones this year feel shorter which I know we've heard the rumor that a lot of the money went more into the houses this year and not as much into Fine the scare zones <laughs> yeah which which is a fair trade off yeah but uh, that's like I said that's what's causing this one to lack is you you literally walk in maybe get another 100 150 feet and you're out of the scare zone yeah and then people were almost confused because it bled into the uh, zodiac right so people were like what 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 do these two have in common correct so so well in transitioning then moving down the street we're going to move down to new york way for the vamp 69 summer of blood and uh the background of this one is at a music fest in a small new york town you'll jam with concert goers until dr oddfellow unleashes bloodthirsty vampires on the crowd yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and lead off with this. I really mm-hmm. enjoyed this scare zone. And uh, part of the reason I did is the vibe that was going on there. It had great music playing throughout of it. And the scare oh, actors yeah. uh, were just on point. Um, one of the cons maybe is, but for me, a lot of people, I've, I've seen a lot of people say this is a con. For me, I actually do enjoy it because it gives them a chance to spook you. Since it is vampires and they're hippie vampires, they kind of blend in with the crowd. Oh, they blend in very well. Like mm-hmm. some... Uh, until they're in your face, you can't tell who's uh, right. Uh, unless, of course, they covered in blood. Some of them are, but mm-hmm. you know, it was it was good. It was a good zone. Yeah, for me, like I said, that, I, to me, that's a positive. I've heard that a lot of people complain about that right. portion of it. But um, how do you feel about this scare zone? I like it. I like it a lot. Um, I, I think it it works well in its element. I think, uh, yeah, we caught a lot of people. Dan- I mean, hell, at one point I was walking through and I had a little yeah. dance going on just because <laughs> I liked yeah. one of the tunes, right? You know, but. But I think that yeah, like you said, they do blend in very well. But this is this is uh, the fun zone mm-hmm. of the year. You know, this is where you come, and you know you can tell that the actors are having fun. Right. You can tell that the the audience is having fun. The only downside I have to this one is I wish they would have done a little bit more on that stage. Yeah. I know they would get up there occasionally and they would do like one or two things and then jump off. But if they would have had like a little, sh- no, I'm not talking about a big show. Mm-hmm. With flame effects or nothing, not a crazy show, but if they would have dedicated a whole like four, five minutes of getting on stage and having a thing where they had worked out every night, this thing's going to happen on the stage, right? And that would draw a few people in, which would also allow you to have those actors that are in the backside come up and give you a scare while you're watching the thing on the stage. That would have been perfect. But other than that, that's the only nit that I have to pick on that one. Um, yeah. you know. So for me, yeah, like given the rating, I, I actually gave this one four and a half bones out of five. To me, it was almost perfect. And yeah. what, what I do love about this one, that's another positive that I didn't mention earlier, was this one is such a spacious scare zone that you're actually oh, able yeah. to stand around and people watch and take mm-hmm. it all in. Oh, this is the one to do it. Yeah, yeah and, and the scare actors do a great job. Like they don't sit there and just pose and smile, but they actually will give you some great content mm-hmm. and they'll give you good selfies if you go up to them and uh, yeah. just uh, wait for them. We got and, some good interactions. Yes, When we fantastic. had the camera on them, we had some, and you'll see those here in the video. And the makeup, like I said, the makeup was great. Um, all the little booths where they're doing their own little things, like the yeah, uh, one vampire's carrying the head out, and the other one's ripping a throat out. You guys mean mugging us in that, yeah. that one. And then section. you got victims running through the crowd begging for help. And of course, you know, obviously you're not going to help them, but then you see get them get their throats ripped out by vampires. Just yeah. awesome. Then you got the fog rolling in. Just great. Like I said, great scares on. I yeah. absolutely enjoyed it. And this was the, is it like the fun zone? Yeah, the fun, fun zone. Like if you want to go over here and just kind of watch some people get scared. Mm hmm. This is the zone for you. Have a little bit of fun. Have a drink. <laughs> or interact. If you say, I want to watch for a minute, and then I'm going to interact with them, they'll totally interact with you. And I do love the fact that it seems like, you know, every year they get more and more immersive mm-hmm. with the interactions. You know, because there's years that we've gone where, you know, they didn't really interact with you very much. Right. Other than trying to pop out and boo you. Pop out and, and boo you, yeah. But this, the past few years, it's getting 
yeah, getting better, better. better. So this was a good one. So yeah, I'll probably give it about. I, I'll probably give it about. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a four, four bones. Nice on uh, this one. And later at the end of the video, guys, we're gonna rank these uh, in order of our own personal ranking. Mm -hmm. So that will be later at the end of the video. So moving right along, then getting down to San Francisco, we got the Shipyard 32 hmm. Horrors Unhinged, and we enter a 1940s San Francisco shipping yard full of mysterious crates and cages. Beware. Dr. Offell's nightmarish oddities are within. Yeah. So, again with you, what were your initial thoughts on this scare zone? Well, it's hot and cold for me. Mm -hmm. um, and that's due to the fact that I'm a sucker for the old nostalgia of HHN. Mm -hmm. I love the fact that there was a tooth fairy in here. I love the fact that one of the creatures was the hive vampire in the yes. cage. One of them was a, a, a pixie character. Uh, this supposedly was a scolder in one of the boxes that mm -hmm. pops out, although I didn't see it. I don't think we saw it at all the whole time when we went through the zone many, many times. But I love those old school HHN callbacks. However, I felt like the props were a little scarce for me. Mm -hmm. And I felt like, you know, there should have been more interaction, you know, like maybe have, because, you know, you had the, 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 the shipyard workers. They were bloody. They carried like a pipe or a crowbar. You know, or something. Maybe have those guys interacting with the creatures. You're trying to corral them, even. Yeah. I don't know. Do something. Just have it to. You know. I did see like there's a time where I did go through where one of <coughs> uh, uh, the scare actors was actually fighting with the bat. See, and, that and would that, have been had cool. to pop. Yeah, but, a little see, more of that. That that leads to actually one of my cons of this scare zone, which is why you couldn't see a lot of that. Was it was just too cramped and too short. It's always cramped over and, there. Yeah, like a lot of people have actually been complaining because. You can't. You, this is one zone where they're they're keep you moving through. Like if if you well, they stopped, tried to, yeah. we didn't really let them, folks. But no. they, they tried. But, to. Yeah, they tried to keep you moving along, and so you you really can't take good pictures, good video. Like I said, now we we were able to get lucky and get some good footage of this scare zone, but yeah. uh, a lot of people have been complaining about that uh, from the team members actually trying to push them along, just get them through the scare zone, which part of me gets it but at the same time that's why it needs to be a little bit bigger because that's that's part of the the fun of it is you want to go through and actually spend time in the scare zone so if i can't spend time in the scare zone what is the point of having the scare zone? yeah what's the point i mean and and i don't know what way they would exactly remedy this because i know that that uh that area in front of london you can't really have a lot right. there so you're limited there and then on the opposite side coming out of it where exactly would you put them there right. but i mean i feel like even the props were a little bit scarce yeah you had the van you had some crates you had mm -hmm. you know some of the other things but it's just it's a kind of a conundrum it is where are you going to put them and I, I know part of it too this uh from what i've gathered too is you have the the bat that's on the stilt so you have oh, to I keep people moving yeah, that was for their safety but like yeah that was fantastic that it was fantastic. amazing and like you talking about the callbacks to the hive and the two fairy like i I yeah. enjoyed all that. So, speaking of that, like the pros and the cons, how many bones would you give the scare zone? I'm going to go with a three again because I, I, like I said, I did enjoy the nostalgia, mm -hmm. but I don't enjoy the the other parts of it. You know, the, the lack of sets and, and, and stuff like that. So, I'm with. I'm going to go just a half a tick higher. I'm going to give it about a three and a half. Okay. And just because I do enjoy those callbacks, and not only do I enjoy them, I thought the makeup looked amazing. Oh, they were great. And, yeah, they, everything was great except for that. Yeah, and when you were able to interact with them, they done a fantastic job. And I love the twist too with Odd Fellow being in there. And you see his uh, his markings and mm -hmm. uh, his zodiac symbols and all that good stuff. I I, just, I thought that was the way they tied everything together to back to Odd Fellow. Right. Was a great touch, and, and you'll see that as we go through each scare zone. So moving uh moving along then this is actually we're going to skip not go to the next scare zone we're actually going to talk about the one mini attraction they have at the peacock bar i know we didn't discuss this earlier but i'm gonna put oh, you yeah. on the spot so let's do it what did you think uh david pumpkins david has pumpkins oh hey <laughs> <laughs> that was good i mean it, it, it you know i mean there was a huge line around him uh -huh. naturally as there is going to be every night of the event but, you know, we did get to catch a little performance by David yeah. Pumpkins. He came up and he did his thing. And that was great, you know, for many reasons. Mm -hmm. I feel like having little things like that right. is great because it draws people from other areas, it's, you know, kind of break up those crowds a little bit. But, you know, he was good. He was yeah. good. I don't think he looked 
exactly like Tom Hanks, but then again, that's hard to do. That is, but like you said, um, he did a fantastic but job. But he did a good job, and he was interacting with people. He was obviously having a good time in his role. Right. Which is good. You can tell when a performer's having a good time yeah. in their role, <laughs> and you can tell when a performer's like, oh, I'm just here for the check. Uh-huh. And you can tell this guy was eating this up. I mean, he only had four or five <laughs> lines to say but absolutely is, so if you're watching this universal give that man a raise bring him back yeah. maybe give him another mini show that will put some butts in the seats put the skeletons yes with him uh-huh. or even you know like have a, a mobile audio system or a trigger that he can hit that plays the little stupid song yeah where he's dancing and he's dancing <laughs> and give the skeletons beside him you know you know maybe next year throw that in there because that that would have been that would have been great so yeah, like I said, great job, great job to the actor done David and S. Pumpkins. The Peacock Bar, cutting back to that, I had heard, you know, the bride had appeared, and, and several, we didn't have to see that. No, that yeah, I didn't. When, in our right. runs, but that's cool too. Bring out some more characters. Anything to draw people, you know, mm-hmm. over here, you know, because that's a cool area. It's right there on the water. You got good drinks, you, some food items over there. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and, and bring some people over here. Let them hang out here for a minute. So absolutely, I mean, I mean, you're preaching to the choir right here on that. Well, so, yeah. Yeah, that's totally. <laughs> so, moving right along, then we're going to go to Jungle of Doom Expedition Horror. So we got in the 1920s, Doctor Oddfellow ventured into the jungle, performing horrific experiments in, mm. on nature. Now his uh, creations are coming after you. Yeah. Now this is a scare zone. Normally, I complain about because it is like yep. too short. But exactly. man, they really knocked it out of the park this year with this one. I exactly. Thought. And um, like, it was foggy as hell, and I've heard a lot of people complaining about that. And you know, yeah, it was foggy as hell. But there had been a lot of rain, and there had yeah. been a lot of humidity, so maybe that was the cause of. Maybe, but man, I, I, what I loved about that is too. It's almost like another mini. I mean, you're obviously not in a house, but it's a mini house because they're hiding in their boo holes, yep. ready to get you when you walk by. Yep. And to me, that's fantastic. Watching people get got when you're walking down. I mean, and not, and not saying I didn't get got. <laughs> oh yeah. In this scare zone, just because, like you said, where it's so foggy, you can't see anybody you can't coming see at a damn you. Thing. And it was it was pretty good though. I mean, I like the plane. I love the bats. I love the fact that you know, last year, let's take that for example when they did excuse me the scarecrow Mm -hmm. you know yeah they built that barn facade you kind of walk through that but as far as like how many people actually took the time to look up right to see the lights the bats the parachutes the different things going on in the trees the plane tail you Mm -hmm. know was sticking out like if you don't really look up in that zone you're going to miss most of it. Yeah, and it's like a, a little a little tidbit on that as well. Whenever you hear Dr. Oddfellow's laugh, you see the colors change from green mm-hmm. to red or red to green, depending yep. on when it goes. And that's just yep. little details like that. Uh, the, you yep. don't If you don't stand and soak it in, you're, you're going to miss. But um, another good thing about the scare zone I love is that backstory. And uh, one of the knots catching the performance of Oddfellow when he's uh, – going after and he actually he's finds got the skull am- yeah, yeah the skull the amulet of souls right wherever they i'm not exactly yeah. sure what they call yeah, it the, but, the skull of yeah. souls or something yeah. and it's like like i said that's just a great a great callback and you see how he gets the scars and how that translates mm-hmm. throughout the, uh the rest of the time now you saw zones. this on 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 opening night as well yes because you did get to go opening night mm-hmm. so what for the audience real quick could you tell changes in the zones without going into heavy spoilers from the actors performances like like you know because obviously these are folks that may have worked together maybe have not right could you tell that they had melded meshed together a little bit better honestly yeah the, I, from what i've heard and I, I, from what i saw spot. as well i thought they did a great job that opening night like i i, I didn't yep. notice any type of inconsistencies when i went through that like there's in the boo holes even in the houses and like we'll get more to the houses when we do the reviews yeah everything was in sync perfectly now Everything is organic with HHN from week to week. They see stuff. They tinker with things. But, uh, like, Very there fluid. wasn't anything where I was like, you know what? They could do that a little bit better. Right. And, like, whenever we came back, we were on week three, I think it was. Yeah, week, week three, three, three and a half. Yeah. And, uh, like I said, it, it, they were still hitting on all cylinders. Okay. Good. That's good. That's a sign of a good year. Yeah, exactly. So. And uh, so for me then hitting as far as the bone uh, bones, I give this one a four bones out of five. I thought it was, like I said, really well done. And even though it was the same amount of distance as it is every yeah, year, it's a small zone, short zone. Yes, it, but it didn't feel short to me this time no. because there's just so much, there's so much to, to see. see and take in. And you could walk that zone from the beginning to the end, and the end to the beginning, mm-hmm. and still see something different. You know? Yes. And and yeah, so I'm gonna go right there with you and give it four. 
because like you said i don't normally like this song because mm-hmm. it's crowded it's a bottleneck it right. becomes a just a horde of people but this year i really love the pro- i mean i was noticing things that i didn't notice the first night we walked through it you right. know, the second night so yeah four bones for me absolutely then. so then moving along to the final scare zone we have dark zodiac which is dr offello has harnessed the power of the zodiac to live forever twisting the signs into malevolent beings who uh foretell your doom hmm. so begin with you adam i know i know you think highly of this zone let me, let me hear your initial thoughts on it yeah this zone i uh, i liked it a lot i loved the the makeups the costumes i like the 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 mask and the prosthetics a mm-hmm. lot um i just really feel like this zone like last year for graveyard let's take that for example if you would have added a few more set pieces for them to pop out from behind, mm-hmm. it would have almost felt like a house. Yeah. Like last year, Graveyard almost felt like a mini house for me because I got got so many times. It's hard to get me mm-hmm. in a scare zone, folks. It's hard to get me. But last year in Graveyard, they got me so mm-hmm. many times because they had those mausoleums and those stone walls and things they were popping out of. This year was good. If they would have been a little bit more of that, but I did like how they would interact with you. Several times they yeah. interacted. When they saw that I had the camera on them, they were right there to interact, and I loved it. And that was, you know, we took an approach where we would he would take one side of the street, I would take the other, and we would go up and down the street getting some shots. Uh, but they were really good this year. I loved it. I have to agree, and like I said, what I love about this one too, because we're talking about it's very spacious, so you can actually mm-hmm. sit in, take it all in see different nuances from scare actors kind of see where they're hiding how they get people yep and uh the chainsaw crew were like on red bull every night we went because they were getting everybody <laughs> oh, and, like yeah. hiding behind the corners like I, I just love that stuff there was a great shot and i think we'll we have it here we're going to play it for you guys if we can find it but there was a great shot to where the fog machine had just <laughs> popped and these folks had just walked through it and you could tell they were a little on edge and he sees that goes through the fog from behind them mm-hmm. and pops that saw right by their their ankles and they all do a chicken dance <laughs> and they all run away but it was it was good and, and i like the lighting in this zone a lot i yeah. think last year they really learned a lot about the lighting when last year you know graveyard they had the lightning yeah and it almost sounded like a storm mm-hmm. so i think that the lighting got better that everything was good um i'm gonna go ahead and give this five bones just because I, this is my personal favorite zone, but I was, this was this was a good zone. Yeah, I, I give it four and a half, and like I said, uh, um, it's it's about near perfect for me. Yeah, um, I do love like the like like you were talking about the scare actors, their designs, their costumes. I love the two headed. I don't know what you would call it, but the two headed scare actor that was the Gemini. I'm not too yeah. sure about that. Uh-huh. And I did not at once. I'm a Leo. I did not at all see a Leo uh, character because the little emblems that glow yeah. reflect what sign they are. And I was looking for a Leo. I maybe passed right by it and didn't notice it, but I know I saw the Taurus and I know I saw the Gemini and the Pisces. See, I'm not even Virgo. versed on my signs and stuff. I know I'm a Cancer, but I wouldn't even, like you could hit yeah. me in the face with it right now. I wouldn't know you what would. it is. Well, it's hard because even yeah. I, as a Leo, didn't realize you know exactly the little emblem. Right. So I had to look it up, and then I went, oh shit, I didn't even see one of those. <laughs> but you know, I was still looking. But it's cool to go through because then it gives you an extra thing. You're like, I'm gonna go through and find my sign. Yep. And see what they look like. But the yeah the the Scorpio with the big scorpion arms and the, mm-hmm. we got really close to her one night and she just had this menacing grin. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> that yeah. was that was great. So yeah, I'm gonna leave like I said, give it a four and a half, about near perfect zone. Uh, before we go through and actually give our rankings from one to five, two things I wanted to touch on. One of them you did not get to go to, which I mean you really don't have any interest in. It's the Nightmare Fuel. Uh, revenge dream yeah no which is a show that sparked your uh, dark dreams has reignited the pyro and aerial performers will fire you at the uh, heat of metal and electronics i'm not gonna lie i actually went to see this yeah, one you opening, saw this night, opening night yeah and i was blown away by how well and the only thing i did not like which is something you cannot control was the people that were sitting around me because i mean they, they were rowdy <laughs> but that's to be expected well, yeah, they've, been, they've been slugging ghoul juice and yeah <laughs> and, and twisted taters and, and they're, but, they're gonna get wild yeah i'm now i still if you give me a choice between that and bill and ted i'm gonna say bring back bill and ted, oh, bill and ted is awesome. but uh like i said i was really surprised with how good nightmare fuel is I, I would give that one four out of five or okay four yeah four bones out of five like i said I, me and my wife were actually talking about I was like if you were ever 
and I don't want I'm not asking for no reboot of Lost Boys but I know they're talking about rebooting Lost Boys and the cast yeah. I see it don't look great but I'm like man they need to pull the pull actors some of these guys. Not, yeah, yeah they'd be fantastic yeah and then the last was uh, uh, the Megan uh, Horde that we like, caught a glimpse of it yeah we caught a glimpse of it but that's but it's, been it's one of those things you have to seek it out and you mm-hmm. have to wait and be patient and with us uh, this is a story that we'll get into later. Yeah. We were caught in a monsoon the first night, so there was no waiting patiently <laughs> anywhere. There was only trying to stay dry. <laughs> but so. a tip, too, that we've been told, uh, booze and ghouls, if you really want to seek out that Megan Horde, wait by Mel's Diner, mm-hmm. and normally between somewhere between 7, 9 o'clock, every two hours between those times, they should pop out between 7 and 9 o'clock to do right. their shows. So if you're desperately looking to see them, hang out by there and you should catch a glimpse of them but like i said i don't think they were going to bring them out in that monsoon no, that no, we were in no, they would, <laughs> that would have been bad. i do like the horde i'd almost wish they give her a show just like you're talking about i'd be a people leader get people more yeah, get people, seats, get more some houses. Seats. just a little tiny i mean you know even like they did with the uh the uh amity scare zone last year mm-hmm. you know where they had the 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 vel or no the daphne Yes, looking uh, with, the uh, cauldron. Witch, with the cauldron, the flame effects. You know, people would stop and gather to watch that. So, yeah, yeah that's why I was wanting to see what the Megan Horlock said. I thought the, the the ladies they got to do those but, parts. Yeah, from fantastic. what I've seen, I mean, I've seen clips of it, and it does look awesome. And I'm not even a Megan fan, and I mm-hmm. was like, you know, yeah, I'd stop and watch that for ten minutes. Yeah, absolutely. So. Like I said, they were all in sync. Like I said, the, the choreography, whoever's in charge of that, mm-hmm. and obviously they're mimicking the movements from the movie, but they all did a fantastic job. So. Right. Uh, segueing back in then Adam we're going to start from 5 through 1 uh, what is your 5th uh, house or 5th scare zone excuse me 5th scare zone no. is, is uh, that's probably going to be that's, it's probably going to be odd fellow for me yeah I'm in agreement with you and I'm sure it's the same it's, it's really short it's too short yeah mm-hmm. and, and uh, then, like I said we talked about the, the cons on it so then moving right along What's your fourth? Number four, let me take a look, is probably going to be, I hate to say it, but Shipyard is, is probably going to be four for me. I'm the same way. Like I said, just, there's it, a lot to love it, in it. It's a lot to love, but it left me wanting more. Exactly. Which is a good thing, but it's also a bad thing. So, mm-hmm. you know. Then uh, I'm going to hit us off with three then, because I'm in agreement with you on Shipyard. Three for me would be the Jungle of Doom, and that's really not knocking it, because I thought this was a fantastic scare zone. Yeah. I just think the oh, other yeah. two, for me, offered more what's third on your list yeah jungle as well okay. jungle as well i mean it was w- really well done this year mm-hmm. i liked it better than last year me too you know so that was a good good one moving the two now for me the top two i think i think they're a little bit more separated for you but for me it's like 1a 1b for me because so I, fighting, I give them, yeah. yeah i give them both the same a four and a half bones out of uh, for me i'll say one one dash b would be vamp 69 yep Yep, I'm right there with you. Number two or one dash B would be Vamp sixty nine, because it was the fun zone. Mm-hmm. It didn't take itself too seriously at all, you know. Which leads us to the number one zone, one uh, A or <laughs> number one itself is the Dark Zodiac because there was so much interactivity, there was so much to explore, and and I mean you could really go down a rabbit hole with this. Yeah, and and even the props. Like we have some footage of the, yeah, the 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 water props. Like the, I didn't really get to see the flame prop while we were in there, but I'm sure I did on the probably, overnight. It was probably really cool. pretty awesome, mm-hmm. but yeah. And so that's that's the scare zones for us in a nutshell, folks. And we ran through them uh, multiple times, multiple yeah. times in the daylight, in the dusk, in the evening, mm-hmm. in the night, and uh, yeah. So. Let us know in the comments what's your favorite scare zone and why. Are we being too harsh with our critiques on certain uh, scare zones, or are we giving too much love to scare zones? Just let us know. Like I said, we'd love to hear your feedback. Yeah, totally. And stay tuned for more because we do uh, have a couple of uh, different videos coming out for the house reviews where we're going to break down those houses for you. And that's separate from our actual ranking. Later on yeah. in the season, we will release our own house uh rankings personal rankings based exactly. on our runs because you might see like high rankings as far as our reviews go but as far as personal personal like hey what do i enjoy more it might change a little bit as what you might think so you're going to want to catch that and this is a hard year to uh, yes. to rank or review because everything was so awesome none of this is bad none of these are bad no they're all awesome so you might see those 
lists go up, they might go down still. I mean, even between yeah. now and Universal then. knocked it out of the park this year, I think. Oh, yeah. But um, like, uh, if you like this video, share it with your friends. Be totally. sure to subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends, your mom, your dad, uh, dead, undead. We don't care. You know, share this yeah. channel with everybody. Tell your enemies. If you want to <laughs> bore them for however long this video is, tell them. Watch this. And as always, remember, stay spooky. Blood and guts. <laughs> <laughs>